Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day and doing another follow-up on the basic uh, pulse motor setups and circuitry. Now I have the same as the previous video, two re-switches, but I remove both of the diode and I put a full uh, wave bridge rectifier on it over here. Got the same uh, 100 milliamp meter. The same 25,000 UF capacitor, the same 1,000 UF capacitor, and at this moment I have yeah around 14 volts in the cap. The reason for that is if I give it a spin, you see that I stopped it. Hope you. I think you can see that. Give it a spin. I'm gonna give it no one more time. A spin. Yeah, that's more than enough. Now I'm gonna slow it down to something like that. And now it is working. As you can see, it is decreasing. Not that fast. It's uh, decreasing pretty uh, at a pretty slow rate, which is good. It is pulling around, let's say, one milliamp, maybe one and a half. So in other words, comparing this one with the previous one, uh, having a full wave bridge rectifier does help instead of having only two diodes. Look at the drop rate from the energy in the cap. Not bad at all. Yeah, pulling around one to one and a half milliamps. Everything is still absolutely the same. The good, the good thing about this is uh, the three coils that are acting, sorry, the three magnets that are acting as a generator now are being rectified as a full sine wave. So you get both sides, the positive one and the negative one. In other words, more energy going to the capacitors. Yeah, there's a pretty nice drop rate. And of course, this schematic over here, I will put it at the end of the video for those who want to play with also. Yeah, it is definitely drawing around 1 milliamp. Not much. And of course, the less is draw over there, the slower the drop rate from the energy in the cap gets over here. And that is also nothing more than normal. There's the full wave bridge uh, diode rectifier. Yeah, I will say go with the full wave bridge. It definitely help with the uh, input, which seems lower, and also that is good on the um, yeah the energy on the drive side, on the input side. Doggy doggy. Now I don't want to bore you to death, so I'm gonna stop it again. Remove all that crap, just as before. And put that aside. Let me remove it. So, as you can see, still the same, six manics, three of them are drivers, and three of them are for generating. Same coil, ferrite core, I will suggest using a ferrite core. If you use a iron core, it uh, will not perform as good. And also using an air core, it will perform as good also. Here's the full wave bridge rectifier. A nice tiny one underneath still the same and there's still the same two read switches over there yeah now you can see them okie dokie schematic at the end of the video 
Uh, hope you enjoyed it. And as always, thank you for watching.